Hey there, it's Ashley here. Welcome to Create Full Art. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a lighthouse. There is a lesson plan that goes along with this lesson at createfullart.com. The link is in the description below. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need acrylic paints. You're going to need a canvas. I'm using a canvas panel. It doesn't matter what size. You're also going to want a jar of water, some brushes. You want a big fat brush, two different sizes of flat brushes, a larger and a smaller round brush, and a watercolor pencil to sketch with, and some paper towels. For my palette, I'm using just some parchment paper that I put down and taped down to my desk. So once you have all those, you can get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some blue paint. These are all primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. And then you're going to want a brown and a black and white. Okay? And that's all you're going to need for your paints. Very simple. So to start out with, we're going to paint the entire background one color. And we're going to we're going to do something different here. And we're going to paint the background a very dark color and then we're going to add the light on top. So, grab your blue and some black. You can take your big brush here and just add that to your background. This is what you can really do. Okay. And black. And you can mix the colors on your canvas. And you want this to cover your entire canvas. So this takes quite a lot of paint to do this and it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just the under layer. And then once you're done with it, you need to let it dry and then we can move on to the next step. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a line where you want your island to kind of be. So we kind of have a guideline here. So horizontal line and then you're just going to make squiggly lines going off to not completely this corner, about right there. Okay? So you're going to paint this and you're going to paint this. So, to do that, you're going to paint the bright colors in your sky. So we're going to make an orange here. We want to have a guideline of where our light is going to be, where our sun is going to be. So we're going to take some white and we're just going to dab some white right here. Okay, like that. No big deal, that's what it looks like. Okay, then we're going to take some yellow and we're going to go around that area. Then we're going to take some yellow and add it over here. I want to put some white with that yellow because the blue and the under the under layer will turn it kind of greenish looking. Okay. So add some white. Remember this is just, this is layering so we're going to be layering a lot here. Add a little bit of white up through here. And this is because this is a cloudy day and it's a sunset. A little white over here. And the thing is you can make your sky however you want. You can be really creative with this step. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it so that you know how to do it yourself. I'm going to add some orange and some white with that orange. And just notice I'm really like dabbing a lot. I don't want it to be smooth. So I'm adding the orange where I want the orange to go. Okay. All throughout here. Remember yours is going to look different. But this is the strokes. Dab, 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 dab. That's what's going to make the look. Okay, I'm going to grab my red and I'm getting really close to this line right here. And I'm going to start blending these colors together but in a dabbing, you know, using the dabbing motions. Look over here. Some of this right here. 
want a lot lighter color through here. Usually on one side of a sunset, it's lighter than the other side. Don't worry about this being a perfect line. We will be going over that. That's what makes this so easy. Some pink through here. And see how the blue, you can see it through right there? Keep that. That's what makes it look really cool. Okay. Now this white I'm going to keep pretty strong right here. And then I'm going to add some blue in there. Okay. Tone this down a little bit. Okay. Now, to make it work, you're going to add your blue over top of it. So I got a little bit of blue left over here, and I'm going to dab my blue over the top and add some white to it. Ah, got a little, don't get too much water on your brush. And remember, you want some dark blue in there too. Keep some of that dark blue. You may even want it a little darker on this side, since this side's going to be darker than that side. And all you're doing is you're taking what's underneath and adding more texture on top so that it works with the texture over here. And where there's light clouds, there's going to be lighter blue as well. Now what you can do is you can take this blue and add some red to it. Make sure you have all the water out of your brush first. You're going to make a purple, a dark purple. You're going to add some clouds over the top of your light. Make it look like stormy. Just stormy. Continue using that dabbing motion. And let them kind of trail off, you know, at the ends of the clouds. At some point, you gotta just be done and you gotta move on to the water. Now, the water is pretty simple. You're just gonna take those colors and you're gonna take your flat, small brush. And you're going to go like this and add those colors down there. And I have spaces in between my strokes where you can see the blue. I'm going to add red because I have red in my sky. And I'm going to have orange and I'm going to have yellow. And I'm only going to have it in the upper part here. Make sure you reach over to your island. This is where my squiggly island is. And then notice how I have white right here. You're going to have that. So you're going to follow your squiggly line with white. Okay, take your big fat brush here. And you're going to add more interest by adding more red right here. Oop, I have a little clump right there. Don't want that. Okay. And then it just trails off into the blue. Okay, and that's because the red and the blue is going to make a purple color. And you have the red and the blue making a purple color through here. But you had to add that purple color. That's what happens when the red meets the blue. So it goes from yellow, orange, to red, to purple. 
So now you want to put in some waves. So you're going to take your flat brush, that's wide, put some white on it, and you're going to be very careful and you're just going to go super like this. Remember to stay horizontal and just go across. Now the reason why we're doing this is because you're going to be able to see the texture because it's closer up of the water. So the closer, the more you know short strokes you're going to have. The further, the more long and skinnier the strokes. Good enough. Okay. Now you want to put in your island and your lighthouse. But make sure that you have this all dry so you don't smudge it with your hand. So your lighthouse, you don't want it way back here. You're going to put it right here. <laughs> okay? I'm going to be specific on this one. Okay? So your lighthouse is a long rectangle that goes in more at the top here. And I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm going to try to make it so you can see it with the light shining off of it. Can you see it? See that? And then on the other side, I start closer in and I just come out a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to make a line down here. And this is going to be its own rectangle. And then this is going to have a line right here at the top. Then we're going to have a little square right here. Okay. And then you're going to have a triangle on the top of that. Pretty simple, right? Okay. But that's just the sketch. So we know where it's at and all that jazz. So we're going to paint the land before we paint the lighthouse because the lighthouse is the hardest part. So let's go and paint the land, shall we? Now this island right here, this is going to be a silhouette. we got to paint that silhouette. And I'm just going to kind of follow the natural line of what I've created here. But I want to make sure that this at the bottom is straight across because that's what the water will do is make a line straight across and if you need to use a ruler I would recommend using a ruler for it. Now I'm stretching the island all the way across then you want your island over here your land mass here that this beautiful lighthouse is going to be sitting on. And it's black as well. And then you can just spread that black down. It doesn't have to be completely filled in. Once you do that, you have to let it dry. Otherwise, those colors will mix on top and you don't want that. Okay, so we're ready for our next layer. Now, I'm going to be putting down my green because there's grasses and things like that. But this part's going to be silhouetted, all right? The only part that you're going to be able to see green is the stuff that's close up. So I'm going to make a green with my yellow and my blue. Now here's the trick. If you want to make a more earthy green, you can add some black to it. See how that makes an olive color? Add a little more and it gets more olivey. Okay, and you can add brown to it as well to get a different greenish color. I don't have a lot of green going into that brown. Okay. So there's two different greens already. Actually, there's three different greens. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add all three of them. Okay, so you have your different greens, and you're just going to place them down choppy kind of like up there the strokes 
and only in this part. Okay, now you're going to let that dry before you add any on top. And you wrap some red. Now remember, this is all silhouetted, but the sky is going to be reflecting off these rocks up here. So you're just going to come in and add a little red to those. Might have to mix some white with stuff so that it brightens it up. See how bright that makes it? I don't want it that bright, but I do want it brighter. Okay, that one's that bright. A little more orange to it. Okay. And then put it down. It's going to dry a little bit darker than this anyway. And you're going to bring that orange all the way up, all throughout it. I could probably perfect on that for a while, but I'm going to move on to the lighthouse. Okay, you ready for the lighthouse? Now you get to decorate your lighthouse the way you want. You can make it whatever design you want. But I'm going to go with the candy cane because I like the candy cane. So to do that, I just have to make sure that I have candy cane lines. So I'm going to start here and go up and stop on the side. Start here and go up on the side. I'm using the side of my brush to make my lines. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, now notice here you basically have your lighthouse pretty much done. Just add a little light in there. Okay, and then the bottom is pretty much done. Why don't we just add some gray? So we're going to add some gray down at the bottom because the light's going to reflect off of that bottom ridge just like that and it's going to reflect off of this ridge like that okay. and some light's going to be hitting this side and a lot of light is going to be hitting this side. And then you want to drag some of that light over, just like that. Okay. And the same thing kind of goes for the side here. You're going to drag, I'm just going to kind of make a line. Let's make the line first. And the light's going to reflect off of that side. Okay, and the colors that are going to reflect off of it are reds and oranges. So that's not going to stay this color. I'm going to pull some of that color into the white. You're almost done. With your small little brush, you're going to fill in this little top of your lighthouse here with the black. I'm going to fix my white so that it looks like it's reaching my sketch over here and getting bigger on the bottom. Then, this is going to have shadow, so it's going to have some blue in it. And I'm adding black in between the white. To separate it from the sky. And really that's it. Now when you're done, you need to sign your work and be super proud of it. Here's my finished art piece. I would love to see yours. You can share it with me on social media with hashtag createfulart. And if you want to, you can go to Createful Art on Facebook and share it with me on my page. Let me know how yours turned out in the comments below and give this a thumbs up if you like this video. 
and check out these other beach themed art projects that we are doing. Don't forget your lesson plan at createfulart.com and I'll see you next time. Bye!